Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to run Facebook ads like a pro and I'm gonna do this from start to finish so you guys can see exactly how I run campaigns, um, how I've done it for clients, how I've done it for my own business and how I've done it successfully, which is probably the most important thing. A lot of people you know, like to teach Facebook ads and they don't really know anything about it. So if you guys are excited about this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe for more you know, online entrepreneurship or digital marketing or social media marketing videos in the future and with that being said let's jump straight into it so this is the Facebook ads platform as you guys can see um, there are multiple things happening on the screen right now and a lot of people you know are intimidated by this screen because there's just so much happening you don't know what to do when you first log into the ad platform but ladies and gentlemen calm calm down I mean there is so much you can do and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it from scratch so um, we are in the ads manager you guys can see that we're looking at yesterday which I don't know why that is you're gonna make sure you want to switch to today and now that we're on today and we're looking at the ad platform we can see that there's a campaign tab, an ad set tab, and an ads tab. So this is very, very important for you guys to understand. In fact, if you understand this, you really can understand how Facebook ads work. So what you do uh, when you make a Facebook ad is you create a campaign, which is gonna you know, kind of hold everything together, and you put the ad sets inside the campaign, and those ad sets, um, since they're inside the campaign, are gonna be where you set the targeting, where you set the age, the demographics, all that. I'm gonna show you guys that very, very soon. And the ad is gonna be in each ad set, as you guys probably guessed. So the ads are in the ad sets, the ad sets are in the campaigns, and it's just like that. That's how the Facebook platform works. It's actually really nice. I really like how simple it is. Um, and then, you know, once you set up the campaign, then you can set up the ad sets and then you can set up the ads. So we're gonna do this from scratch so you guys have a you know a great idea of how you can do this. So as you guys can see right here, we are taken to this page where you can set up a campaign. Now it asks you, what is your marketing objective? This is a great question. You're gonna to wanna to tell Facebook exactly what you're doing. A lot of gurus, a lot of experts you know tell you oh yeah you're gonna want to set up a traffic campaign and then you're gonna want to make sure you you know get them engaged and you're gonna want to make sure you get as many views as possible on all your your ads and you know this ensures that you're gonna get sales and it's just absolutely garbage that's not true at all if you want sales which I think 99% of you guys do on this platform you're gonna want to click conversions and only conversions don't waste your time doing other stuff because it literally won't work I've, I've, I've tested this conversions this is the way to go if you want sales now if you do just want you know get more traffic to your website which I don't know why you'd want that. I don't know, maybe you have some reason for that. Or maybe you want um, more engagement on your ads, um, more brand awareness, because maybe you're like as big as Coca-Cola, or you want more reach on your ads, feel free to play around with these other objectives. Um, I do tell students um, in my course that you should optimize for the objective you're going for. I just realized that 99% of people who want to use Facebook ads are trying to drive sales. So anyways, now that we have the conversions part set up, we're going to go ahead and click um, name your um, campaign. So we're just going to call this Facebook uh, ads tutorial or video, whatever. And this is where you can set up the campaign budget for the day. Now, I think $50 to $100 is probably um, the best way to go, but I realize that a lot of people watching this video um, are just trying to get started. So let's just go ahead and bring it down to $50 a day. And your bidding strategy, you can do cost cap, other things, all this stuff that's a lot more complicated. Let's just keep it as simple as possible for you guys who wanna set up your campaign. Do lowest cost. In fact, I've seen lowest cost get the best results for a lot of my campaigns. So let's just go ahead and do that. Um, now, if you have a new ad account like this is a new ad account, a lot of you guys watching this video will have a new ad account. It's just gonna ask you to set this up. So just set up United States or wherever you're from, what currency you're using and the time you're using. Go ahead and click next. And now we are on the ad set level. So that was how we made the campaign. The campaign is very simple. You set the budget, you set the name of the campaign, that's it. Okay, so now we're in the ad set level and we're gonna go ahead and set up the ad set. So you guys can see here, this is what um, the ad set looks like. You can do all of the targeting, you can do all of the placements for your ad. So where your ad appears, all of that is gonna be in this ad set. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, try to connect um, a pixel. I think there is a pixel somewhere here. 
I don't know where the pixel is. Um, okay, yeah, so we're back. Sorry, I couldn't find the Facebook pixel, but I finally found it, and here we are. So um, what we're gonna do is set up the ad set um, once you get the pixel connected. If you guys don't know about the pixel, um, that's a whole nother video. Make sure you guys set up a Facebook pixel and insert it into your ad sets, um, but that's a very, very simple step, very easy tutorial. If you guys want me to make a video on that, just let me know. But um, now that we have the Facebook pixel connected, you're gonna wanna click a an event you wanna optimize for. Um, I recommend you know optimizing for purchase, always purchase. You don't wanna optimize for any other event. There's so many events you can optimize for. Again, this kinda just goes along with the pixel video that you guys um, will want to do some research on. But once you have the pixel set up, just go ahead and choose the event you wanna optimize for. I wanna optimize for purchase. And once you click purchase, then you can go ahead and get into the good stuff. So you um, are going to want to advertise your products or your services to a you know country in the U.S. Probably um, if you're from the U.S. I mean, even if you're not from the U.S. As it's a very very you know wealthy country, um, but you can also. Um, advertise your um, product or service to many other places in the world, which is awesome. Um, in fact, you can actually do worldwide targeting if you have like a digital product and you don't um, have any restrictions. But if you're shipping, you're probably going to want to um, advertise to the place that um, you live. So keep that in mind. And now that we are on this stage, let's go ahead and say we're optimizing for worldwide. Well, now you're going to want to think about the service or the product you're selling and what age range would it really sell well in. Um, for me, it usually um, I sell just younger demographic products or services. And so I usually go ahead and, you know, do 18 to like 44. That's a pretty good um, age range. And you guys can see that every single time I click that button, it's actually changing changing the amount of people it reaches every single time. Now, if I were to just advertise two men alone, it's um, going down to, what is that, like a billion people? Wow, is that a billion people? I don't know, but um, if you just do woman, you can see 790 million. Um, so it looks like there's more men in the world, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> um, and then you can do all and it combines both of them. You can also choose the language you wanna to advertise to. So let's, let's say I just had an English product. Um, let's go ahead and click English. It's gonna drastically cut that down. Yeah, look at that, 910 million now. And then you can set up the targeting. So this is the most important important part of Facebook ads um, because this is the kind of uh, people that the, the Facebook algorithm is going to show your ad to. And so if you want your ad to be shown to the right people, you have to nail this right. So let's say I'm selling um, dog toys. Um, I'm going to have to go ahead and make sure I target the right people. And you can do that through detailed targeting, which is right here in the ad set level. So let's go ahead and think of you know who would buy dog products um, and what interest would they have if they wanted to buy dog products. And so um, we can easily just type in dog right here and we can go ahead and see people who are interested in dogs. Okay, well, I mean, that's that's you know a start. Um, as you can see, the audience is absolutely huge and it's kind of you know not refined enough um, as people who like dogs might be interested in your product, but they might not be um, as interested as you think. It's just too broad of a topic. So let's go ahead and refine it even more. Let's say um, you're selling dog clothes, okay? So now let's go ahead and see if they have anything to do with dog clothes. Okay, it doesn't look like they have anything to do with dog clothes. Let's see if they have um, anything to do with dog, dog lovers. Okay, maybe yeah, people who like dog, dog lovers might be a little bit more, um, what's it called, a little bit more uh, specific. Let's go ahead and see suggestions. Um, pets at home, people who have pets at home, that's huge. That's probably gonna be somebody who fits your category. Um, anybody who's interested in pet stores, pet smart, uh, dog walking, um, dog grooming, dog training, you can get really, really specific as you guys can see. And these interests are very, you know, hyper targeted. So you can target the right people. Um, and that is where, you know, the bread and potatoes is on Facebook ads. If you get this part right, and you get the demographics right, and you pick the right country, um, which is pretty easy, um, you're going to really be showing your ads to the right people, and they're going to probably convert really well. So this is huge, guys. I know you guys are seeing the potential here. So let's go ahead and scroll down. And you can see that um, we got the audience all set up. Now you wanna do placements. Okay, do you wanna do automatic placements or do you wanna actually select the placements? If you guys you know, put, uh, hover your mouse over each um, section, you can see exactly what placement um, you're advertising on. And the way I do it, guys, is I honestly just leave automatic placements. It does the best. Trust me, I've, I've tested so many different things. Um, and so you, know, you can go ahead and turn some things off if you want to because you don't think it's working, but I would recommend automatic placements. Let's go ahead and continue. And now we are on the ad itself. So let's go ahead and let this thing load up. So now you have options. You can do a carousel ad, you can do a single image or video, or you can do a collection ad. 
I would recommend just doing a single image or video, but you know, it just actually, well, okay, to be honest, it depends on your objective. Again, for simplicity, I would just do the single image or video. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and click add image. And let's go ahead and click upload. And we're gonna go ahead and um, upload an image. So for me, um, I don't know, um, let me go ahead and upload something, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just uploaded an image of myself. Um, I just wanna get this um, done as fast as possible for you guys. So let's just go ahead and click upload. And so now you guys can see that we have an image of myself for the ad. So once you have an image, let's say I'm selling consulting services, cause this kind of looks like I'm like some business successful guy who um, is selling like his consulting services. Let's go ahead and just add a link in here so we can go ahead and just add uh, let's say this is going to be where you want to send your traffic. Um, obviously, actually, we'll go ahead and add my website. So we'll do michaelaymore.com. Okay. And so now when people click my ad, they're going to be taken to that website. Very, very simple. You guys want to make sure that wherever you want to send traffic, you have the right URL in there. If you don't have the right URL in there, it's going to cost you a lot of money because you're going to be essentially sending traffic somewhere else and you don't want to be sending traffic to wherever your product is or wherever your service is. Um, very, very self-explanatory. Um, and then you're going to want to go ahead and add some text is going to be where, you know, the, the copy of your um, ad is going to be. So let's go ahead and type, um, are you interested in making more money online? See, it's going to be right there. Then you're out and then you gotta, you know, you gotta make sure you're, you're playing smart. Duh. So then you're going to say, well, what are you waiting for? You know, just got to make sure you're hitting the right people with a good message. And then you're going to want to click headline. And this is where the headline is going to be at the very bottom of the ad. And you're going to say, um, start making money online today. Okay. So there you go. And as you guys can see, it's a very, very, um, what's it called a very very specific ad to people who are interested in making money online you can see that um you know it might be uh, interesting to people who are interested in this kind of niche but that's essentially how you set up the ad guys and once you have the you know the facebook pixel installed and everything is tracking well now you have so essentially what happened guys is that this ad right here is going to be shown to anybody that was in our ad set and if you guys remember the ad set um, is where you set the targeting and you guys can see right here we're setting we're targeting people who are interested in dogs and pets at home so that would you know be really stupid of me to, <laughs> to run this ad to people who are interested in um, dogs so we'll do consulting uh, management consulting so that would be you know a possible interest and now people who are interested in consulting will click that ad because it, you know obviously I'm calling out to them I'm trying to help them make more money online and then um, of course, the campaign as well is where everything is housed. So this essentially is how you make a Facebook ad. You set up the campaign. So we're doing a conversions campaign. We're telling Facebook we want more sales. And then we set up the ad set. And this is where you set the targeting. You set the age, the demographics. You um, tell you know what Facebook what pl uh, placements you want to put your ad in. And then you actually make the ad itself. And once you set up the ad itself, then you have everything you need to go ahead and start advertising on Facebook. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make a Facebook ad from start to finish as soon as possible. I wanted to make this video so you guys could have an idea of how to run Facebook ads. That is the gif of it. That is, you know, the meat and the potatoes. I know a lot of online gurus um, like to make this stuff as complicated as possible. I mean, literally, I spent so long studying Facebook ads and I could never understand how to make an ad, how to set the targeting, how to reach the right people. But in this video, I want to show you guys exactly how to do that in less than 20 minutes. And that I think was, you know, was done. So we're going to go ahead and now um, submit the ad. So we'll go ahead and submit it. Um, and we can go ahead and see that they ask us to put our payment provider in when you run your first ad. Now, since I'm gonna set this all up later, since it's a new ad account and this was kind of just for you guys, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. But if I did, essentially the ad would go into review, Facebook would review the ad, make sure it follows their policies, and then the ad would start running, start spending money, people would start seeing your ad, they would start clicking on the ad, and they would be taken to your website, and when you get somebody to your website, then you can start you know, trying to convince them to buy your product through many, many different strategies. That is a whole new video as well. If you guys want a video on that, make sure you guys comment down below. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you guys did, make sure you guys give it a big 
thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe for more content like this in the near future. And I will see you guys in the next video.